What up, folks? I'm back once again doing another video game review, and this time I'm reviewing Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins for the Nintendo Game Boy. And it's the uh, sequel and follow-up to the classic game Super Mario Land. And the um, premise behind the game is that Wario, who is Mario's uh, childhood friend, put an evil spell on Mario's castle in Mario Land as a whole, and he pretty much brainwashed the residents to believe that Mario was the enemy, while Wario himself was their leader, allowing him an uh, opportunity to steal the six golden coins while Mario was away as Sarah, Sarah saw. And uh, once Mario found out, he went on to, 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 to get the um, six coins back and try to pretty much try to say that this ain't right. Now, uh, Super Mario Land 2 is pretty much separated into uh, six zones, which are um, has a certain number of stages on them. And the zones are the tree zone, the micro zone, the space zone, the puppy zone, the turtle zone, and Mario Land itself. And now some of the enemies are some of the enemies are that's in the game are from previous. Are from the Super Mario Brothers universe, while others are new to, to this particular game. Plus, um, the the game the game has three specific power ups: the Super Mushroom and the um, Fire Power, of course. Plus, there's the um, a, plus there's a character that's in the game that's, that's a power up also. Now the Super now the Super Mushroom makes Mario bigger, of course, like like the previous Super Mario games that came out before it, and it has to know. So there's no um, big time changes with that. Now with the Fire Flower, once Mario get that, he takes out enemies with the Fireball, of course, but also it allows you to um, break bricks too, which is something new for the uh, franchise at, at that particular time. And it's something that I, I particularly like. And then there's the uh, bunny ears, I mean the carrot, the carrot, which was Mario graphic. It, you will see bunny ears on Mario's hat, which of course, which allows him to fly pretty much like the uh, Tanuki suit and uh, the leaf in the um, raccoon tail from Super Mario 3 and the cape from Super Mario World. Plus, Mario can uh, bust brakes with... Um, with a spin move pretty much like Super Mario World on Super Nintendo. It's, um, it's like at the midway point of the stage and, and, and at the end of the stage you can ring a bell. And with the, uh, end, with, once you ring the bell at the end you're, you're allowed to um, get like different like items like a one-up or fire flower or a carrot or something like that. Now the only exception is where you have to. I think you have to fight. I think where you where you have to fight a boss. I don't think there's a um, battle at the end of that particular stage with the boss battle. Now the graphics and gameplay, the graphics and level design rather, are a major improvement over Super Mario Land, the first Super Mario Land game, and that's and they're very good. You know what I'm saying? Even it like. A color palette too, as far as the graphics is concerned, but it's still a major improvement in terms of graphics and level design. The, the level design is has seen more of an improvement than than say the graphics per se, but both are really good nonetheless. Now the gameplay is good, and it, it's pretty much seen some improvement also, pretty much with the um, fire flow and, and, and the spin jump. Even though it wasn't technically new, it still allows you. It's still an amazing. It's still an improvement over uh, Super Mario Land, you know. And as far as the soundtrack is, is concerned, ooh, that, that that is quite properly the best um, aspect of his game, and it's in the way better than um, the soundtrack for Super Mario Land, which is actually saying something because. 
the soundtrack is, of, um, of Super Mario Land is pretty classic itself, you know what I'm saying? So, I really do like the uh, soundtrack to, the, to Super Mario Land, too, you know, and this is... One of the best sequels that's been released on the handheld titles, uh, uh, um, and it's pretty much one of the best sequels I've been playing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, it, and it should be on a list of the top 100 uh, best sequels of video game sequels of all time, in my opinion. So this is, like I said, this. Super Mario Land 2 is a very good game, and I'll just recommend it to just to any gamer. Don't matter if they're retro gamers, uh, Mario fans, or whatever. It's still a good. It's good. It's a good game. I recommend it wholeheartedly. Fire the score. I would um, definitely give it a ten. You know. Now, with that being said, if you like Super Mario Land 2, go the six golden. Uh, Six Golden Coins happen to be your favorite game or whatever the case may be. You can mention it in the comment section of this video. If you if you like this review of Super Mario Land 2, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy Big Metroid Fan 12 signing off.